It was the catastrophe that the purveyors of climate catastrophe didn't see coming when 2022 physics Nobel Prize laureate Dr. John Clauser dropped this bomb. I have a second uh, elephant in the room that I have recently discovered regarding climate change. I believe that the climate change is not a crisis. Real truth could be found if and only if you learn to recognize and use good science. It's especially true when real truth is politically incorrect. Dr. Klauser was immediately condemned, castigated, and canceled for his scientific blasphemy. Klauser is a board member of the CO2 Coalition in Arlington, Virginia. We met with Executive Director Gregory Wrightstone, the best-selling author of Inconvenient Facts, the science Al Gore doesn't want you to know. Uh, our message has been absolutely silenced from the mainstream media. Uh, they're not allowed to have anyone like me on there because they say the science is settled. There's a consensus on climate change, and, and in fact, there isn't. Uh, there, the supposed 97% consensus is one that's contrived. Uh, the main paper that pushes this notion of 97% consensus would include me as part of that 97% because I believe that CO2, carbon dioxide, is a greenhouse gas. And I also, because of that, we know that CO2 has a warming effect on the atmosphere. We just believe that it's, it's very, very modest and overwhelmed by the same natural forces that have been driving temperature since the dawn of time. Uh, if we look back over the last 5,000 years to the first great civilizations, we see three other great warming periods that were warmer than today. All of these occurred during periods of very low carbon dioxide. Wrightstone says we need not fear a warming trend and that real statistics are completely contradictory of the climate catastrophe alarmism narrative. Climate disasters have dropped by 10%. And that's not me saying it. That's the UN uh, that's responsible for that. We see that uh, Climate or natural disaster related deaths have declined more than 90% since 1900. Uh, they don't tell you this. They won't tell you that global fires are declining, the deserts are shrinking, that we're not experiencing deforestation. The earth is actually experiencing reforestation. More standing timber today uh, than there has been in many, many decades. For example, just Recently, it was revealed that my home state of Pennsylvania has seen a five-fold increase in standing timber since 1953. Uh, that's hardly deforestation. Uh, we do see places in the world where we are experiencing deforestation, like Southeast Asia, uh, where they're replacing uh, forest with monoculture uh, palm oil plantations that will then be cut down and used for uh, so-called renewable energy or mature forests in the Carolinas that are being cut down to be made into wood pellets and then shipped to the United Kingdom. Those are considered renewable biofuels. Uh, no thank you. Those promoting these renewable fuel, fuels are actually promoting destruction of our forests and our grasslands in order to build uh, industrial scale solar farms, industrial scale wind turbine farms. Uh, it's, it's almost as if they have to destroy the environment in order to save the environment. Yet the voices of catastrophe grow louder. Pope Francis just releasing another dire warning. And of course, Joe Biden and his electric car executive order calling for half of all vehicles in the U.S. to be electric by the year 2030. The truth is that green energy is the real disaster for most people. And that's why Wrightstone is hopeful. I'm very optimistic. Uh, I, as opposed to some others. I, I see the great progress, and I think the more pain people get uh, when they see their electricity bills rise. For example, my I've got a new home in Florida that we moved to three years ago. My electricity, monthly electricity bill three years ago was $149 a month. This year it's over $500 a month. When you get that kind of pain, not everybody can afford to pay an extra three or $400 a month for the, their electricity. We see a huge movement now, people speaking out. We see it in the Wall Street Journal, people questioning their uh, net zero movement, even in the New York Times and the Washington Post. When you have a Nobel laureate uh, 
uh, stating that there is no climate crisis. You can't just call him a science denier.